Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are going to compare the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone 13 Pro. Guys, this is a Sierra Blue, which is a theme color of the iPhone 13 Pro. And meanwhile, this is the gold color of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And you could see that as according to the color, the side frame, the camera rings color also matters. You could see this hanging is almost the same color as of the Sierra Blue color on the frame as well as on the camera rings and meanwhile of the gold color it have the side frame in the gold color exact gold color as well as the rings are also gold and apart from these two colors we also have a graphite color which is a sort of black and i also have a silver color which is a sort of whitish or a creamy color okay in accordance with that the frame color as well as the ring color also matters so let's directly dive into the comparison and the review between the 13 pro and the 13 pro max so let's start from the build and design so first of all this both are built exactly the same the way it holds everything is excited but the level of comfort you are getting from this guy is next level because of this compact size 6.1 inch a perfect one hand phone you use you could see and meanwhile this is too heavy in my hand as well as not comfortable to hold with one hand the main thing is the side of these two phones is a sort of uh, square design so when we hold in the hand we can feel that we are holding some a piece of glass and also it, when the size is less it is almost compact as you guys say but if the size is too high it is uh, you could you can see uh, it is not fits perfect in my hand and it is not uh, good for one hand using and I need to adjust my hand to reach the notifications other settings and all but this guy you could see I can reach anywhere by just with nothing see I can reach anywhere with just one hand usage and all so in terms of the comfort one hand usage everything i would prefer the iphone 13 pro over the iphone 13 pro max then the next thing would be the thickness guys so both have the 7.7 .7 mm of thickness you guys can see exact same thickness and if you uh, look at the weight the iphone 13 pro have just 204 grams versus 240 grams on the iphone 13 pro max so it feels really heavy as well as it's uh, what we call not really comfort in one hand usage so if you are a fan of that means you have used to do uh, the high-end android smartphone like galaxy s21 ultra x20 pro plus me the one friend all then it's obviously fine for you because you are you already used to a high-end that means high screen size phone then it's perfectly fine for you guys and both these phones have the ceramic shield protection from the apple and ip68 dust and water resistance and for the first time the notch is a bit reduced if you compare with the iphone 12 and the iphone 12 pro max you could see it's a bit reduced but still it's there you can see it's a bit reduced from the previous generation but uh, still it's there okay and uh, now next moving to the displays when that is a improvement if you compare with the other series of the 13 so the 13 pro and the 13 pro max have a pro motion that means the 120 hertz of the refresh rate on the first time in iphone and it's late on this guy but the implementation is perfect you could see it's really really smooth i can see really smooth it's and the animations everything is really smooth you could see now in the app library see i really like guys see so i would say it's a perfect implementation of the 120 hertz refresh rate even if it's late it's an apple have done perfectly in terms of the 120 hertz refresh rate of the phone and next the screen size so guys, the display on the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone 13 Pro, now the bigger screen really makes a difference because already it have a notch. So on 13 Pro 6.1 inch minus the notch uh, design, then this display becomes really small. You could see it's a really small one. And while on this it's already having a larger 6.7 inch display, then the notch doesn't matter as much. But still, I having both are having the same XR notch, but due to the larger display i prefer the iphone 13 pro max over the iphone 13 pro in just the terms of the display and all because excellent viewing angles both have the excellent viewing angles same exact display on both the color vibrancy and dynamic range everything is great but in terms of using the huge size i would prefer the 13 pro max over the iphone 13 pro okay and one more thing is there guys if you really observe, I would say the resolution is a bit different on both. So the iPhone 13 Pro have 1170 into 2732 versus this guy is having a slightly higher 1284 into 2778. 
Okay, so this is slight difference in terms of resolution and uh, in terms of VPA this hanging 460 VPA on the 13 Pro versus 458 almost same and you could see the red are really deep on both uh, you can look at the green so everything is almost same okay you can't tell any difference between both so I would say because of the larger size I am preferring the iPhone 13 Pro Max over the 13 Pro in terms of the display and uh, now let's look at the speakers so guys now let's look at the speakers on both the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone 13 Pro so at first I would play the music on the iPhone 13 Pro Max Wow guys, really good guys and now it's time for the iPhone 13 Pro. Let me increase the volume. Let me switch back to iPhone 13 Pro Max. Thirteen Pro Max. Okay guys, at this point I am a sort of bit confused, I am I'm not sure, I am feeling that it's a slightly higher volume or I would say slightly better uh, audio on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I am not damn sure, I think uh, in this audio actually I felt the iPhone 13 Pro Max is a bit, I would say a bit, I am not sure about that, almost same, I would say about 99, 98, 99% I mean some areas I felt the loudness is a bit more on the iPhone 13 Pro Max I don't know the exact reason why it's so but both are neck in neck in terms of the audio quality so guys now look at the cameras on both the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max have the exact same cameras not like the iPhone 12 Pro versus iPhone 12 Pro Max which have different sensors different type of stabilization and all so these two have the exact same camera so first one is the 12 MB camera and it's supposedly is f1.5 and it is 1.9 micron pixels larger sensor and the next one is the 12 mb ultra wide and the next one is a 12 mb telephoto which is capable of 3x optical and 15x digital and then at last we have a lidar scanner over here that means a tof time of flight camera and on the front we have a 12 mb selfie shoot as well as it's a entire housing for the sensors and all let's uh, check the face ready too in three two one and go Okay, let me swipe at the exact same time. Okay, both. So let me check it once again in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, once again in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, it's exact same time, guys. Once again for the final time in 3, 2, 1 and... Okay, you can see. That's really nice. And now let's look at the camera UI on both. It's exactly the same. But still I would show you. So photo, video. Cinematic mode, slow motion, time lapse, and uh, at last we have a pano mode also. In portrait, we have some effects like natural, studio, contour, and all. And in photo, we have the uh, ultra wide, normal, telephoto, and all the 15x digital zoom also. Okay, and in video, you can see the HD at 30 fps. It should at 60 fps, 4k at 60 fps and 4k at uh, 30 fps too. So, okay, and now let me show you a uh, slight example of the cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max. So guys, you can see this is a video which I have taken on the cinematic mode and you could uh, see that the transition goes from the crib to the car and the crib goes out of focus and the car, then the car got out of focus 
to the grid so i would say so at any moment of the video i could change the focus in between the car crib or anything else so let's click the edit over there and you can see currently the crib is in focus and let me tap on the car okay so if i tap the car the car becomes in focus and if i tap the crib the crib is coming back to the focus so at any point of the video you can see at any point of the video we can change the focus from either car to crib or to any other subject so that's what the cinematic mode does also the transitions from one to another it's very seamlessly and a natural bokeh is also given and then you can see how multiple types of uh, styles going over there and we have some minor uh, what we call some editing tools also in the cinematic mode and apart from that this is the sensor shift stabilization video stabilization over here and i'm running really fast and it stabilizes really well okay and this one is a photo just to show the detailing and you can see it's got some really nice detail and this is a 15x shot which i have taken and this is ultra wide 12 mb at a glance you can see it's a really nice pic still nice pic good dynamic range really vibrant colors but if you zoom in a bit then it loses detail because of just 12 mb so if you compare the android phone smartphones like s20 or ultra x20 pro plus and it have a higher megapixel like 108 50 mb in comparison with that if you zoom in uh, then you will lose the detail else it is really nice so it have done an incredible job with the 12b camera and it's also a shot to just show the detailing and this is a portrait mode and this is to show the macro mode and you could see it can get really close subject you can see and this is another shot which is on the macro and this is a cinematic mode and actually the background blur is very natural very smooth and all so it's really nice guys so and uh, so the same happens with iphone 13 pro max too and if you ask me which one i should buy between the iphone 13 pro max and the 13 pro then i would definitely say the next thing is what you should uh think before buying one if what type of user you are if it depends upon battery so the iphone 13 pro have 3095 mah versus this guy have 4352 mah that means you can go up to 3 days with a single charge on this guy and if you're a sort of extreme heavy user then you could easily go through it and if you're a sort of normal user then minimum you can get 2 days of use so that's really insane for you guys actually i'm really a fan of this uh, uh, type of uh, battery backup on this so i'm really a fan of this iphone 13 pro max because of battery backup as well as it's also got a huge display everything is nice except the one thing that's the comfort okay so i mean, really like don't don't like the factor of the comfort actually it is not for one hand usage and not for that means what do you call it? not perfect one hand phone not uh, good to hold but in terms of the comfort one hand usage everything this 13 pro is a perfect for you okay so guys uh, that's how you should take the phone so in my recommendation so if you are a sort of high end multimedia usage that means movies uh, audios and uh, what we call um, heavy user then you should go with the iphone 13 pro max and if you are sort of normal to a heavy user uh, and who likes to use the phone in comfort and one hand usage and all then the iphone 13 pro would be better for you so guys that's all for today signing off it's phone mania